Today's Ask Reddit post. What's the most disgusting thing you witnessed in public? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. This carnival I saw a girl standing, pissing herself and kissing a guy at the same time. Piss going down her legs, and everything on a Sunday afternoon party. The ol kiss and piss. Lefrenchet drench. I used to go to the public library to use their computers. I learned that there's plenty of weird guys willing to jerk off under the desks. Ye was at the library one time and this little librarian, like 5 feet 0 grandma was beating a large dude over the head with a book and screaming at him to get the duck out of her library because he was jerking off. The way a library is set up, the computer rows are right beside the kids section so they could see him doing it and what he was looking at. She did no take kindly to that. The library here in Atumwa has the kids section segregated to its own floor specifically, so they can keep a tighter watch on it, and avoid poop like that. Saw a woman at a bus, stop try to hack up some phlegm, but it caught in her throat, so she reached in, and pulled it out with her thumb and forefinger. Retching as she did, it was like some cave glowworm. She then shook the sticky giblet from her hand onto the pavement. Grimaf. What a day to have functioning eyes. I'm three comments in and seriously questioning my mental state. I willingly entered a most disgusting thread, and for some reason I'm still here, even though I don't like it. I did the same exact thing to myself earlier today with the worst ways to die thread. Why can't I just be nice to myself today? My mom used to work for a casino. Walking through it one time I saw a lady at a slot machine who hadn't showered in god knows how long. Had a huge brown stain on her dress and the chair she was sitting on had something dripping off of it. Gambling addiction is more than a problem. My dad was a security guard at a casino for 15 years. The chairs at the slot machines were cloth when he started, but they had to change to vinyl because people would piss and poop themselves. He once witnessed a guy mortgage his house and then gamble the money away. He dropped dead on the casino floor. He said there were times he would leave work and come back the next night and the same person would be there gambling wearing the same clothes. People would also leave kids in the parking garage or sneak them into the hotel in suitcases so they could gamble. Someone decided to dump his explosive diarrhea from a bridge into the water and I witnessed everything. A lot stayed on the bridge. Hold up. Was this the incident in Chicago that was like Dave Matthews tour bus or something? No with the DMB bus incident it wasn't just like one person crapping. The bus driver decided to release all of the bus sewage over the bridge right on Michigan Avenue. More disturbing than disgusting, but when I was 13 my family was going to Chicago on a train. On the way back a lady was at the far side of the platform. I still don't know what she said, but my mom's jaw dropped. My dad screamed stop, causing me to turn at and see the lady step right in front of the train. My mom grabbed my eyes to late. Plus it didn't stop the blood splatter. We ended up going back to my uncle's for a few more days, and he drove us home that weekend. When I walked into the train on 125th at rush hour like 6 months ago a woman was at the bottom of the entrance steps bent over w her pants and underwear down and her bare ass facing the steps just having straight liquid diarrhea all over the floor which we all had to basically walk over to get onto the platform. I felt bad because she was homeless and clearly was probably not in the right state of mind. What made it even worse was I ran into my boss who I wasn't very close with at all while walking to the train and we ended up walking together and basically had to continue our awkward small talk while sidestepping over the scene. At least she gave y'all something to talk about out. Edit, y'all made me do it. My buddy was driving me home from jail, and while on the interstate, a silver sedan zoomed right through the median, at 70 miles per hour or faster, and hit the back tire of the truck in front of us. The truck wasn't a semi, but it had like, 8 massive tires on it, needless to say I was shocked when when that tiny, plastic sedan managed to knock that truck over, we got out. Being that we were one vehicle behind the crash. To go see if she was okay somehow. She was decapitated. My god what a horrible thing to witness. I mean this whole thread is disturbing. But this seems like something that stays with you. I hope you've been able to get help processing this. And I'm sorry you had to see it. 
had a guy fly past me in a neon yellow motorcycle, like a speed bike. I saw him, and then I heard him. Must have been going 150 plus. Short while later cops flew past. Eventually hit a yellow bike broken in half. On fire. Looked like someone dumped a truck bed load of ground beef and egg white on the road. Still have dreams about it. Edit. Holy poop. I posted this while I was waiting for someone on hold for work and came back to see it exploded. Uh, sorry to expose so many to this lol thanks for making my work day go by so much faster. Today was poop, but chatting with y'all made it better. Saw a seagull rip open a dirty nappy and eat the contents. Was walking through a mall parking lot one afternoon and big seagull just picked up a bird under it and swallowed it whole and then just stared at me like yeah that's nothing what's up? What? Question mark? Lol. I was petting a horse one time. He walked away, ate a baby chicken and came back for more carrots and pets. Took a greyhound to Lexington. Kai back about 20 years ago. A man sat next to me, only carrying a warmer bag. Inside this bag he had 3 cans of tuna and a jar of mayonnaise. Dumped all contents inside. Then proceeded to eat it directly out of the bag using only his mouth. I had to sit next to him for 4 more hours after this. And the farts were more diabolical than anything my dog has ever done. I also was working as a server in a restaurant on the night we had our seafood buffet. And a man's colostomy bag fell off right onto the floor near the crab legs. The smell was worse than anything else I have ever smelled since. And I've worked in composting. Saw a guy take a poop at this very busy intersection in Redondo Beach. He dropped a deuce pulled up his pants and kept walking. It was really something to see. That's sadly not that rare to see in LA lol. My office is in Koreatown and I remember once smoking a cigarette with some co-workers out front when an obese white lady stopped like 10 yards away and took down her pants to poop haha. I'm not even sure she was homeless. Why is this becoming common in California though? Well, I was sitting in my car in the dark smoking a cigarette. Then a raggedy ass homeless dude was 2 meters away from me. He pulled his pants down quickly, dropping a giant turd. Pulled his pants up and went on his way as if nothing happened. He didn't wipe either this only took like 5 seconds. I mean what could he have wiped with lol. Ops fender. Happened to me as a teen. I was riding my horse with a group of people on the riverbank that bordered the barn I rode at. We were looking for a low spot to take the horses into the water at. So we were bareback with no shoes slash phones. Saw something weird on the bank. Got off to investigate, and as I got closer something warm and wet and rancid squelched between my bare toes. It registered in my brain that I was staring at the decomposing torso of a human the same time I started dry heaving and vomiting. I was standing, barefoot, in all of the fluids and fat that had started melting off of the torso under the summer sun. I will never forget that smell. Fucking hell that's rancid. What happened after? A man with his hand in the air, very dramatically slitting his wrists with a razor. Now I understand this is most probably a cry for help, but it was 2pm on a sunny day in summer, on a busy street, with kids everywhere. My ex runs a restoration slash hazard cleanup company. He got a call for a quote from family of man who slit his wrists, and as he bled out he walked through the house spraying his blood all over everything in the house, until he collapsed in the hall and died. His wife was leaving him, and apparently he didn't want her to be able to take anything, so he ruined everything in the house. People are ducking crazy. I'm a teacher. Had one student. A girl to boot. Who sneezed into her hands very loudly during class. Cue in everyone staring at her. Including me because I was shocked someone could even sneeze like that. It was more like a scream. And while everyone was looking at her in silence. Hands covered in loads of snot and god knows what stuff that drippled to the ground in long strains. She proceeded to sort of snort it all up again from her disgusting hands. Licking her palms and fingers clean even. All in a matter of seconds that seemed to last an eternity. I was that close to throwing up on the spot. In fact, I might want to do that now. Bro chill you win. Was on the bus and there was a couple. The gentleman took a seat and the lady was standing. About 10 minutes later he started loudly sniffing her crotch like a dog. 
grabbing her ass etc. Making the loud licking noises. Pretty ooh -wah. It seems like public transportation is always filled with some weird nasty person making it uncomfortable for everyone else. I saw a woman pick her child's snotty nose once with her bare hands and then proceed to eat the budgers and snotty like it was crumbs and noodles. I'm getting sick just thinking about it again. Went to the cinema to watch Looper. There was a strange noise behind me like a rustling. Turn around and some girl is giving a vicious hand job to get BF and tracky bottoms. Full thick cock out. Unashamedly carried on. It was Looper FFS. Looper? Barely even know her. After reading the comments here I'm surprised I have made it this far in life without seeing any random people just pooping wherever and in full view. I'd like this streak to never end. You just jinxed yourself. Coming home late from the pub. At the train station we grabbed a burger from the van there. Walked up onto the platform and there was a policeman dragging a tarp along the platform. While another was on the tracks picking up the bigger parts there was a trail of blood and smaller parts down the middle of the tracks. Pretty grim. Being young and drunk at the time I don't think I realized the gravity of what had happened. It has stuck with me though. Watched a guy commit suicide by running into traffic on my 21st birthday. He chose a white economy car to jump in front of. Happened basically right in front of me. Although we were on the other side of the Tulane highway and a good 100 foot behind where he ran out. So my friends and I saw everything. The whole thing didn't even look real. And I don't think any of us fully processed what happened at the time. I'm so sorry you had to witness that. Especially on your 21st birthday. I saw a mom washing her naked babies, but in the play pad at a zoo. She used it like a bidet. You know what? Baby bidets kinda sound like a good idea. I saw a teenager eat a $5 bill, chew it up and swallow it, then vomit it up into a now empty chili cheese fritters bag, and take the bill out of the bag, straighten it out, and take it into a store and use it to buy more chili cheese fritters. This one takes the cake for meal mayo. Why did I open this thread? Oh god it burns. Make it stop. Why did we do this? Exclamation mark. Question mark? What a horrible day to have eyes. A junkie who I just gave Narcan to. He grabbed a dirty needle and tried to stab a waitress who just wanted to help him. You killed my bus he said. Covered in his own poop. Vomit and foaming from the mouth. Blood coming from his nose. Lucky she didn't get stuck with his needle. I remember a cop who was giving part of a presentation said you'll see one of four reactions when administering Narcan and that's the one that sticks with me. You'll have ones that will hate you. Aid you more than anything you've ever seen. And even become violent. Because in asterisk t-h-e-i-r asterisk mind. You just deprived them of the greatest high they've ever had. We responded to a collision. Where a guy got hit by a car going around 100. Split the car like a sardine can after which he was hit by another. He was a mess on the ground. Poor guy. We had to cover pieces of him with blankets. Wrapping his severed foot was one of the strangest experiences I've had. It felt heavier than you'd expect. Overall it was sad. I remember talking to a female on the side of the road where it happened. She had the stereotypical thousand yard stare. I asked her if she was okay and all she muttered was. That was my husband. Just terrible. Thank you for being a first responder. Sorry for the sadness. On my second deployment I saw my first open mass grave. It is awful that you say first. I'm sorry. I hope you're doing okay. West Africa in early 2002-2000 and to then off to Afghanistan from 2002 to 2004. There was never a lack of violence and people who didn't deserve any of it. A homeless person leaning against a building downtown Tampa. Squatting and pooping in a plastic grocery bag. At least they had the courtesy to clean up after themselves. I was sitting with my baby at one of the eateries at the SF Zoo. At the table right next to us we are two women and about three kids. One of the women takes a potty chair with a bag out from under one of the strollers and sets it on the ground between our tables. She then takes one of the little girls, who was maybe two, pulls down her pants 
so she was exposed to the entire restaurant and sits her down on the potty, where the little girl then does her business. There was a bathroom 15 feet away. She wipes her. Puts the poop napkins and bag of poop on the tray. Pulls her pants up and they leave. Left the poop tea napkins and mess for the teens working there to clean up. When I was leaving. I noticed a puddle of bus under the area where the potty was. So the bag had a leak. I notified the cashier immediately who just stared at me like I was crazy. Unbelievable. This also reminded me of the time I was having a smoke outside of my bar in North Beach and this little old lady lifts up the lid of the recycling bin. I didn't think much of it as it happens all the time. I looked back and she had a one year old spraying diarrhea all over our recycling and the bin which we store inside. I was once in a theater and Steven Seagal was acting in the movie. Worst one yet. Saw someone hit by a bike and his leg broke clean from the hip. But the skin stayed attached for long enough for the leg to swing right back round and over his head. It was the noise of the impact that haunted any silences I had for about a month. Saw a poor woman cyclist's guts spread across the ground post being run over by a truck. I didn't see the actual accident. Just the aftermath. From my office building. It was really difficult to look at. Saw a man take a poop on a shop counter in Houston, Texas. He was refused game tickets by a racist shopkeeper. Firefighter EMT. I got called to a bleed victim who had a description of bleeding from the penis. We got there, and when we were told by his father that his son was in the car needing help, we found him only wearing a t-shirt and was covered in blood. We assisted him out of the vehicle and onto the stretcher, where we saw rags falling from his scrotum. We asked him what happened, and he said that he surgically removed his testicle. We found it in the bathroom next to the drain, along with a straight razor, a sewing kit, and a soldering iron on the counter. As a man, I still think about that pretty often. Saw a local junkie walk up to a new look shop window. Drop his jeans lean forward and proceed to diarrhea poop up the window. Finished and pulled his jeans straight up as he walked into the bank across the road. This was about 10am in the morning on a busy weekday. Scruffy. Also, at the bar with my sister and mom, and watched a man stick his entire hand into the back of a woman's leggings that was sitting on a bar stool and start digging. Like I mean digging like his life depended on it. And then after a couple minutes of digging. He would take his hand out and take a big whiff of his fingers, continue on with his conversations, and then go back to looking for treasure a few minutes later. I laughed so hard I cried. Young woman heroin addict getting dope sick into a trash can right outside the window of the panera I was in. Sort of unrelated. But I'm not sure I've ever watched a restaurant fall off a cliff with the speed and ferocity of panera. They used to be kind of bougie. The last few times I've been though there were absolutely zero dollars allotted to maintenance, so things were dingy and the lighting fixtures at the tables were all broken giving it crack house vibes. A friend of mine once told me he saw a kid in a bus sucking the human heated sweaty windows with a straw. That kid can start another lockdown in a few years. Lil man gonna be patient zero of so many things. One winter morning. I was driving down Cicero Avenue in Chicago, near the intersection of Cicero Montrose. There is a CTA bus station. That morning, I was stuck in traffic, and I was looking at the people who were standing in the cold snow waiting for the bus. A man waiting for the bus sneezed into his hand, and I thought it would be funny to roll down my window and yell bless you. So, I rolled down my window, and before I could say anything, the man opened his mouth and licked all of the snot from his bare hand that he had just sneezed onto it. He was sucking it off his fingers. Even. I was so grossed out that I almost vomited in my car. This happened almost 15 years ago. And I still retch thinking about it. French Quarter. New Orleans. 3pm. Homeless dude just squatted down on the sidewalk and poop. High tourist season 2. I used to live downtown in my city, walked to the pharmacy one day, before noon, past a park bench, thought the man sitting on that bench had a hairless rodent on his lap, so I took a better look, it was his penis, lol, 
Hairless Rodent. First time I heard that. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.